Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel, the number one YouTube channel for you to level up your communication skills. Learn the art of public speaking, social skills, and personal branding to take your message to the world. For today's episode, we're going to be entering the world of public speaking, and I'm going to be giving you my two cents on index cards. Now, do you know that index cards are a pretty polarizing topic among speakers? There's one group that are like, index cards? Man, to hell with index cards. Burn them. And then there's another group that are like, whoa, 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 wait up, wait up. Index cards aren't that bad. Heck, index cards can improve your speech. So which side do I fall on? If you were to ask me, yo, Armani, what do you think about index cards? Do you think it's okay to use them? I would say it depends. It depends. The thing with index cards are that it represents a very v complex situation. You have to ask yourself, how far along are you in your public speaking journey? How proficient are you on thinking on your feet? How well versed are you on the topic that you're going to be discussing? There's a lot of variables to just give you a yes or no response. Ultimately though, my philosophy is that it's fine to use index cards in the initial stages, but the more that you progress, the less and less you should be using them to a point where you're not using them at all. That's the ultimate goal. So you really have to evaluate which stage you are in right now in your public speaking journey. And if you are someone who's in the early stages that wants to use index cards, then I'm going to give you some tips on how to use them correctly. So here's the thing. The reason that a lot of people hate index cards is because it disrupts the flow of the speech. Ultimately, at the core of it all, a speech really comes down to transferring energy from one party to the next, from the speaker to the audience. The energy needs to be transferring for it to be a successful speech. However, with index cards, a lot of people become dependent on it. They just sort of read it from left to right, from left to right. And what it does is it closes them off. And now the audience, they're willing to take in some energy, but they're not getting the energy and it stops the flow. That's why a lot of people hate index cards. But you gotta ask yourself, are the index cards the problem or how the speaker is using them? If you ask me, it's how it's being used. The speaker is relying a little too much on the index cards. Look, here's the thing. If you are going to use those cards, you need to do it in a way where the presence is not being felt in a negative way. Once you're done with your speech, your audience shouldn't be thinking, hmm, that speaker was using index cards. That should not even be a thought in their mind. Why? Because you are using the index cards correctly to a point where they're now being able to focus on your speech. So if they're talking about your index cards after you're done speaking, then you did it wrong. I want to tell you a quick little story. A few years ago, I was at this point where I was about to graduate. My brother was about to graduate and we really needed to take school very seriously. So we decided to move to an apartment complex right by school. It was a one bedroom apartment where my brother and I had to stay. So that wasn't easy. But what made it more difficult was within the next few weeks, one of our friends, he was having a very, very tough time financially and in his personal life. And he asked if he could stay with us. Well, this was going to be very tough because that would be three people in a one bedroom crib. But ultimately, I mean, he's a really good friend. He was going through a very tough time. So we eventually agreed. But the first day he moves in, I tell him, yo, fam, listen, it's okay that you're moving in, but I want to be honest with you. I do not want your presence to be felt. That's it. I don't want it to be felt. Now, this may seem harsh, but I'm being real. Uh, your boy was taking 21 credits. I don't have any time for distractions. But here's the thing. As a few weeks went on by, he did make his presence felt. But in a positive way. The fact that my brother and I, we were so busy, he decided to take on more responsibilities. He started to clean up. He started to cook. He started to do a lot of the busy work. A lot of the busy work that freed up my brother and I to study some more. 
Eventually, as a month or two went on by, he was back up on his feet and he was now eternally grateful for our kind hearts. And we were pretty grateful too for him to keep the ship running. He felt, made his presence felt in a positive way. So when you use your index cards, that should be your goal as well. The index cards should be fueling your speech. It should be making your speech better. How do you do that? You become less reliant on them. When you are practicing your speech, you got to go in with that mindset. Like, look, if I lose the index cards, if the index cards just burn right before I'm about to go on stage, I should still be fine. That's how I need to practice. I need to practice in a way where if the index cards were to be lost, I'll still be good. And the best way to do that is to reserve only high level points for your index cards. Don't be putting in all the details because when you put in the details, you just get fixated on the cards. You read rather than glance. Your goal is to just be glancing every now and then. Boom, 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 that's it. You don't want to be reading off of it. And the way that you do that is by including the high level points, not the sub points. Every now and then your speech may include certain data, certain statistics. You could include that as well, but that's it. Make sure your card is lean. Make sure it doesn't have too much information and then practice as though you're not going to be using the index cards. That's it. By the time you're done creating your index cards, one tip that I want to give you is highlight each of the points a different color. First point, blue. Second point, yellow. Third point, pink. The reason that this is good is because when you're on stage and you have a lot of eyeballs looking at you, every now and then when you're looking at your card, you may get a little jumbled. You may lose track. So rather than being on stage being like, your eyes can now identify the colors lock into it, and then read the points from there. It just makes it a lot easier on you. So recap, index cards are fine in the beginning of your journey. Make sure if you use index cards, it's leaving a positive impact. The way that it leaves a positive impact is when you're not too dependent on them. Rather, you just glance every now and then. It amplifies you now because you can connect with the audience. And the best way to create your index cards is to just include high level points and every now and then use statistics. To make your index cards very readable, highlight them different colors so when you're on stage, your eyes are much easier to target the important points. That is it. Over time, the more that you're practicing, 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 you're going to realize that you need the index cards less and less and less. I don't care if it's a five minute speech, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, etc. Your memory is a lot more powerful than you give it credit for. So ultimately, the goal is to not need index cards. Go off of the memory. That's how you become a great public speaker and that's how you become a street smart speaker. If this video helps you and you learned something new today, make sure you drop a like for me right on below and you share this video on your favorite social media platform. Let's get this spread. With that being said, thank you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel and I'll catch you next time.